Hello there, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to do hook swings, and also extra secret tips to go along with them. First off, a hook swing is a technique used by ghouls to get behind their opponent's block and dish out some extra damage. This is great for stopping the opponent's health regeneration and lowering their health pool. It's also amazing for finishing the duel and getting the final blow in. Now then, how do I do a hook swing? To start, you want to be moving towards your target. This is best achieved through running at them or dodging close to them and then running, but not just dodging alone. There are other more secret ways to do this too, and those will be covered later in the video. After you about a lightsaber's length away, you want to do a small jump that just barely has you over their head, and then turn your camera 180 degrees so that you're looking at their back. Once you get there, just attack with the lightsaber, and voila, you've done a hook swing. This is a very hard skill to learn, so if it takes you a while to learn it like it did for me, don't sweat it. You do want your sensitivity to be very high for this too, or else it'll be almost impossible for you to be able to turn around that full 180 degrees in a short amount of time. Hook swings can be performed with any lightsaber hero, although some seem to be easier to do it with than others, like Dooku for example. Even Grievous with his different jump physics can do a hook swing. Swinging back to Dooku, Dooku's hooks can actually do 276 damage with one hit if all of his abilities are active. That's a quick way to end the match. Now, it is important to remember that if you jump too little, jump too much, attack too early, or attack too late, then you will mess up the hook swing. I would still attack later than you think you should though, because this will more than likely give you a hit due to how easy it is to attack early. Also, keep in mind that hooks leave you completely vulnerable, so only use them when the enemy is low, has taken a ton of damage, or fights like a turtle. Anyways, there's actually such a thing called the double hook. This operates the same way as a normal hook swing, except when you hit the ground, you will want to be holding down the block button. Then, the instant you touch the ground, you must tap the jump button and then attack, thus granting you a second hit. This is a very difficult move to pull off, and is one that even I hardly ever use. Looking back to earlier in the video when I said there is a secret alternative way to move towards your opponent, this method is what I like to call a dash hook. To do this, you must dash at your opponent with either Luke, Yoda, or Maul and then do the same thing as the double hook, where you have your block held, jump upon hitting the ground, and then swing. I find this move to be even more useful than the normal hook, as it gives the opponent much less time to react and dodge out of the way. Although, you have to try dash just behind them, which can be a bit more challenging for Maul. However, if you do pull this off, Maul then can start a pretty nasty combo, capable of taking over 535 both the way. Next up is the Force Hook. This one can only be done with Kylo's Freeze and Pull, as well as Luke's Push. This operates almost the same as a normal hook, except you should jump a decent bit higher in the air, and you should also really wait longer than you think to activate the Force Power. This can be great for getting a knockdown and some follow-up hits, although I do find this one a bit tricky to pull off. Nevertheless, this move can still be seen being used by many skill players. To close it off, we have the Thrust Hook. This is hardly even a hook, but I'll count it anyway. The Grievous specific technique is performed by tapping the button for thrust surge and then immediately dodging and turning in a different direction. This makes Grievous hit the enemy at an odd angle, which will oftentimes knock the enemy down, leaving them open for a combo that can deal 450 to 600 damage. That wraps it up. Let me know if I missed anything or got anything wrong, and I'll pin the comments so others can see. If you found this useful, it'd be a blessing for you to leave a like, and if you didn't, then the view is still appreciated. I'm trying to get this tiny channel to grow, so anything and everything is very greatly appreciated. More dueling guides like this are out and coming out, so if you don't want to miss them, then you can feel free to subscribe if you would like. Anyway, until next time, may the force be with you. Peace.